Maku Tree in the middle of nowhere means only one thing. Nothing else out there. Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, the Oracle of Seasons! Previously, we got introduced to the plot. Link has a girlfriend already. Take that, Tingle. And then she got kidnapped by a huge dork. The huge armored dork named Onox. And now the seasons are all messed up. And we're in Horon Village. Where this dude, his room is still not dim. Notice the uh, colors are different. I'm on Game Boy Advance version now. Yeah, I don't expect no Mother 3 here. It's still just a Game Boy game, but played on the Game Boy Advance. But that means there's something new. Up by the know-it-all birds. Also, we need to check out this place, too. Some kind of clock shop there. But it's still summer, here in Horon. Probably won't be for much longer. But this store is open. This... is a shop! With nothing in it. Tell me about this place. Is my life advanced? My life is totally advanced! From now on, it's advanced. This is the advanced shop. You could get advanced things here. But they're not open right now, just like the other shop. We're gonna have to come back later. Also, I might as well find out what this Essences thing is all about. Sure, why not? Tell me all about Essences. You're a know-it-all bird. Well, what good is he? What good is he? Roast that know-it-all bird. He knows nothing. I know more than he does. Ugh. Well, I know it's a plot token. That's all I know. Probably a plot token. Sounds like a plot token. These pots are heavy. I wonder if I could check out your dresser. Is it a nice dresser? Ugh, let me see your dressers, man. You want to make a cuckoo clock. Best cuckoo clock ever. And then sell it to some dude that really likes princesses. But he doesn't have a bird. Hey, I have a suggestion. How about that one know-it-all bird? The one that doesn't know essences. No one knows anything in this town. Ah, well, I talk to most of these plate people now. Except for this building. It's a double wide. Hm, looks like he's planning Gasha Nuts here. He might be a Gasha Nut fanatic, just like the mayor. He has a plan on his head. It's Bippin, the arborist. He knows a lot about trees. He speaks for the trees. He even yeets for the trees. Don't ask me how. Blossom and Bippin just had a baby. Ah, oh, congratulations. All right, I'm gonna see baby now. You know, you look very familiar. It's Blossom. A baby boy! I wonder if they had one of those gender reveal parties. Maybe the season's ruined it. So she needs a name for her baby. So she's gonna ask a random stranger that just showed up, Hey, name my baby. So I got the perfect name. The greatest hero of all time! He's spoken of in legend! I'm gonna name him... Tingle! Oh, Ting. Tinge. Yeah, I'll just go with Ting. The greatest hero that ever lived. Ting, the god of rupees! I would name him Ting. I'd definitely name him Ting. I would name them all Ting. Ting Jr. and Ting Jr. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 10. I'm gonna skip a few numbers. Link's going to have a lot of quality time to spend after he's done his adventure. He has to play the odds. Someone has to succeed him. Alright, now we have a baby to take care of. Baby Ting. We can come back and see Baby Ting eventually. I can't get chest because things are in the way. So I need to find myself a sword and we got information that there's a hero's cave nearby. That might have a sword in it. But nobody knows because no one ever survived. And welcome to winter. Something tells me the seasons changed here too. Yes, they did. It's winter now. Everyone's freezing. No one cares that they're freezing. Do you care? Nah, this is regular seasons now. This is usually what autumn is like. First it feels like summer, then it feels like winter. That's most of the seasons that aren't summer anymore. 
working our way to the hero cave. There's enemies abound. There's snow abound, too. But we can't deal with snow. Hey, Great Fairy! Something tells me there's a dungeon nearby if there's a Great Fairy outside of it. Now, if I only had a bottle, I could get some Great Fairy bath water. Look, I had them make that joke. That is a low-hanging fruit. It's a low-hanging seat of power right there, and I want it. Well, that looks like a hero's cave. And this looks like a beach! We can have a vacation here in winter time. Something tells me that lantern is going to be important for something. Also, that chest. How am I going to get to that chest? Something tells me a sword will be involved. Let's go get us a sword. Welcome to the Hero's Cave! The How to Not Die Dungeon! Because it throws bats at you immediately. This is what I said about it, they tried to do a original Zelda remake, and they couldn't quite make it work because the rooms in the NES are different than rooms on a Game Boy. So you have these gigantic rooms that take up like one screen. But you do have Zelda puzzles. See, I remember my original Zelda. Push the block. Push all the block. That's most of Zelda puzzles, actually. Till we get to Oracle of Ages, and then it starts punching you in the face with the puzzles. Goodness gracious, they love puzzles in a game. That's why I'm playing the linked version, so I could be overpowered while solving puzzles. So, gimme chest. That is not a sword. I can't even use this key as a dagger. I'm getting attacked by what... I, I guess it's the Hershey Kiss enemies. You know? Remember them? Well, those little dudes will cling to you instead. So, they're not quite the Hershey Kiss enemies. But I always loved those enemies. Because what they looked like. Hershey Kisses. Wow, that was a bust. I have, I have a key, though. Maybe we can go this way. This is a very Zelda room. Maybe I can find the fire rod somewhere around here. Ugh, something tells me one of these blocks are gonna move. It's usually what I did in original Zelda, if I got lost in a dungeon, I just started pushing block. One of these gotta do something. That's the only thing Miyamoto did. Obviously we have to hit that switch, it's sitting in the middle of nowhere. And now we got giant kisses. I think they split into mini kisses if you hit them. But I need something to hit them with. Like the wooden sword! It's dangerous to murder alone. Take this sword. This is a sign of courage. And you could get a spin attack immediately, as the bird told us. Now it's gonna teleport us out of the dungeon. But, uh, there's something else we need to do in here. There's some more things to do. There's more things to find. Don't just go rushing off into adventure. Maybe you should explore a little bit. Maybe you should kill things. Like in this room. Ah, it's on the B button. I don't like the sword being on the B button. I know some people do, but... I like having my A button at the ready. My Link is right-handed. I don't care what anybody says. Alright, these things gotta move. There's a debt trigger. There's a Zelda puzzle! Which means there's a Zelda room with an item in it. And we got ourselves a Gusha Seed. I'm gonna hold on to that until I run into run across a different Gusha point. And also I should like kill a whole bunch of these enemies, because I have a, a gotcha tree that needs some growing. Plus I could get some hearts and some rupees. Okay, they don't split. The wood sword does them in in one shot. It's probably a later slime enemy. But if you kill 30 enemies, you will trigger the gacha seed growing. Like, the tree will grow to full with like 30 enemies. It also triggers a few other things that are kill related, but we haven't seen those yet. You know, I don't even want to... I don't even want to go that way. Let's just get out of this dungeon. There's another secret to find. It's actually right outside the door. This thing right here. I want to get in there. There's a bush in the way. Well, now I could cut bush. I could also cut Octorok. Take that, Octorok. And it drops you off here! For 30 rupees! 
downside of this. We gotta walk our way back out of the dungeon. Yeah, they did that. They, they totally did that to you. They did you dirty. So now that we got a sword, something's still missing. We need a shield somewhere. So, uh, we might as well just check and see if the shops are open now. Which means we gotta backtrack a little bit. All the way back to Horon Village. Something tells me we will be here later. Ah, good, it's summer again. Good to know. I could cut some grass on my wooden sword now. That's a sharp wooden sword, man. My dad made wood swords that were actually sharp. He used to work with wood at his old job, and he actually put an edge on them. I had some swords that looked like Cloud's Buster Sword, but made of wood and a little bit smaller. And other ones are just like, you know, wooden katanas with really bad handles. Anyway, shop. They are open now, and wouldn't you know it, they have a shield for 30 rupees. I'm gonna go ahead and engrave my name on this for 2 rupees. It's sad that we have to actually, you know, find stuff or buy it. But now that we got a shield, we got a sword. They're made out of wood, but, you know, it'll do. Link didn't bring his stuff from Hyrule, from Link's Awakening. You know, the sword and the shield that had his name engraved on it? Yeah, apparently they just forgot all about those things. But now I can destroy things. Yay, destroying bushes! For fun and profit. Not so much profit right now. Nah. No, we did use, uh... We did need to use the sword to get something open. And it's not these trees. Also, the advanced shop should be open. So, uh... I'm gonna be going back that way eventually anyway. Let me just bust this gate down. You have been owned! Yo, Maku Tree! Wake up! Questing time! I need a Navi. Come on, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up! Alright, fine. You get a spin attack. Enjoy! I made you sweat a gotcha seed. I'm not even gonna look at you, you're disappointing me. No, oh, yeah, my girlfriend's been kidnapped. Don't look so dork. There's no Temple of Seasons, either. This is bad. And you were sleeping on the job. Way to go. Well, all things are doomed now. I'm gonna have to save Din, because the Maku Tree is lazy. Well, don't talk about yourself in the third person, it's just stupid. The Northern Peak! Where the Temple of Seasons used to be. Onox must be hanging out there. So we cast a shadow there, which means we probably need eight of something. Yeah, that's indeed the case. The essences of nature. So we needed eight instruments in Link's Awakening, now we need eight essences of nature. We didn't need eight maidens in Link to the Past, though. Eight is the only option. All eight. It's like melodies. Have you heard of melodies? I wonder where Eagle Land is. Is it even in the same dimension? So we could break the shadow barrier, just like in Ganon's Tower from more, uh, Ocarina of Time. And we could save Din! With our wooden sword! No, do not repeat. Do not repeat. You're gonna owl me. You tried to owl me, I don't like you. Time to go to a giant root! Something tells me that will look familiar to some people. Yeah, there's probably a boss inside, you're right. Oh, great. Sure, go ahead, go back to sleep. This guy's a loser, too. Everyone's a loser in this town. Even the bad guy's a loser. Ugh. I might as well go make my life advanced. And check in on the gotcha tree, but I think uh, the gotcha tree ain't ready yet. I only killed a few things. 
No, it's definitely not ready. It's absolutely not ready. So you could plant gotcha seeds and go on killing sprees and, you know, go ahead and gamble, but I don't like to gamble in this game. I went in the wrong door. Oh, you know what I needed to do? I need to do this. Yeah, right there. That's what I need to do. All right, I feel satisfied now. Welcome to the advanced shop. They have items now, but I can't buy any. They have a gotcha seed, of course. They have one ring, two ring. This ring here is random. This ring is always the advanced ring that does absolutely nothing. It's just for completion. Unless you buy those three things, there's no point in having an advanced shop. I like how crispier the pixels are on the Ad Game Boy Advance version. It's a little awkward to look at at first, but i kind of grown used to it. So, hey Impa, I got a sword now. Can I fight, uh, can I fight an Onux? Oh yeah, Gnarled Root, too. She saw a Gnarled Root! Maybe it's the Gnarled Root we're looking for. We can't go that way because, um, there's holes. And we can't do anything about holes. But we can't cut down bushes. Hey, this place looks familiar. I think I've been here before. Yeah, I've definitely been here before. I want to destroy signs. I so want to destroy a sign. And there's the stuff that Din was dancing on. I don't know why I'm able to get up on it. There's no Minish Cap in this game. And that will lead to somewhere that we can't get to. We need to be able to bridge a gap. Might as well check what's up here. It's the chicken house! It's Marin and Talon! Not Marin, Ma Maron, Malon. You know, from Ocarina of Time. He went to Mount Cuckoo, though. So she's taking care of the chickens. But she doesn't know how to take care of chicken. Well, let me show you. You get the chicken into the corner, kind of like this, and then you, uh, just beat on it for a little while. And... Sooner or later, the chicken will get... You'll get mini chicken, and I'll die. Thank you. Well, at least you've learned, didn't you? Do not hit chicken. Luckily, the the game saves every time you enter a room. There's no big uh, thing if you don't die in this game. There's no like uh, Marin turning into a seagull and going off somewhere. No, there's nothing like that. So you can die as many times as you please in this one. That looks like a gnarled root. And that looks like a gotcha point. You know what? I want to do the gotcha first. I'm about to enter a dungeon. Surely there's going to be a lot of murder. So I might as well plant myself a gotcha tree. That way I can get a prize when I'm done. Luckily, I have one of those. That's going to be uh, a pretty lousy prize, though. But I don't know. Maybe the ring will be decent. We could get rings from gotcha seeds. So, time to open up the first dungeon, which is in a very familiar spot. So I said before that this is an original Zelda remake. This is going to be the Eagle Dungeon, also known as Gnarled Root Dungeon. But if I had a map, I guarantee you, this would be the Eagle Dungeon. It even has those weird eyeball statues, but now they look at you funny. Next time on Oracle of Seasons, it's time for some throwbacks. Good night, folks.